Welcome to Tesla Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Today we'll be covering ArcGIS Pro, migrating ArcMap 10 MXDs. Let's get started. I have ArcGIS Pro open, as well as an example of the map I'm looking to import. Migrating is never a fun chore, but fortunately ArcGIS Pro has made it relatively simple to bring in your ArcMap Desktop 10 maps. I'll go ahead and start without a template, but you can start with an open pre-existing project. From here, you simply go to Import Map, right here at the Insert ribbon. Locate the map that you wish to import. I'll be importing a map that does not have a layout. Now that our map is imported, we can verify that our layers, our data frame name, and even our bookmarks have imported. So where does this map live? If you navigate over to Catalog, over to the Maps folder, you'll see that the map is the name of the data frame. You should note that by default, a layout is also created, despite my original MXD having no layout. I'll be addressing this shortly. If you view the metadata, you'll see that it's carried over from the MXD. So what are your next steps? You can either save this project, which will retain this map, or you can save it as a map file. Now, what if your MXD happened to also have a print layout? Let's go ahead and import the same map with a print layout. The first thing you'll notice is that instead of loading your map first, you see the layout. And the layout name is now the name of your MXD file, which you can see at the top of the tab name. If I look over here in the maps, I can see I have a separate map for my inset, but it's not up here in my tabs. I can simply double click and it'll open up my inset map. Once I've double clicked, I can then view it in the contents pane as I would any other map. You'll also notice that since my data frame had the same name in my print version, it's added a 1. I can easily rename this just by simply clicking and typing in a new name. Double clicking, you'll see that it'll open up an identical map. And if we navigate over to the bookmarks, you'll notice that I now have bookmarks for my second version as well as for my inset. Utilizing the bookmark manager, I can easily remove or rearrange my bookmarks. In addition, if I decided that I only wanted one of these maps, I can easily delete them, save them, or even export them to a map file. So what about that other map we saw? Here with the layout, where does that stay? Well, if you look over here to the left, you'll notice that my map with print version has appeared. And these layouts take on the name of the MXD file. Think of ArcGIS Pro as taking the toggle from ArcMap between Canvas and the layout and turning them into two different file types, regardless if a layout is present. In addition, if you saved only layouts as MXD files to utilize the Change Layout wizard in ArcMap Desktop, you'll also see that when you import that map, that it will also import placeholder maps, and these will be named after their data frames. So let's recap. We can easily import our existing ArcMap Desktop MXD files, and they will carry over a lot of the necessary information. However, there will be some cleanup required if you do intend to keep all of these in the same project. Due to the way that ArcGIS Pro will split your MXD in the Canvas side and the Layout side, it'll also create separate file types for these, but this is an advantage in that it allows you to have multiple layouts and maps in the same project. This enables you to group all of your MXDs for particular projects together within one ArcGIS Pro project. However, you can utilize map files and layout files if you do need to keep them separate or share them separately. I think this is a great stopping point. If you want to learn more about map files and layout files, please check our playlist below. This has been Tessel Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Thank you for watching, and please be sure to visit us at www dot tessellations dot us also subscribe and ring that bell